Hi guys, today I'm here at Papillon in the town centre here to round up the December 2019 property market but also for the whole of 2019. And just like that, 2019 is over. There's been a lot of political surprises over the last 12 months with a lot of Brexit shenanigans and the whole situation with the Prime Minister changing as well. Uh, but fortunately we've managed to scrape through the rugby property market without too much of an issue. If you look at the end of the year, December 2019 followed the standard process where there was a bit of a wind down towards the end of the year. Uh, when you compare December to November, there were only 93 houses coming onto the market compared to the 145 that came on in November. That's a 35% drop uh, month on month, but it's also a 53% drop down on October. So it really does wind down dramatically towards the end of the year. When we look at how the buyers got on in December, a similar situation became clear. There was 100 houses sold in the rugby postcodes in December compared to 159 that were sold in November. That's 37% drop month on month. But interestingly, on December 2018 compared to December 2019, there's actually been a rise. There was only 66 houses sold in December 2018. The West Midlands has remained a pretty strong marketplace as well, with the average time to sell being at around 59 days from coming on the market to being sold, um, with the average sale price being at £224,000 in December as well. So as we head into the new year, now is a fantastic time to reflect on the last 12 months. The long and short of it is actually we've had a pretty good year in general in the rugby property market. Throughout the course of 2019, there were 2,427 homes coming onto the market as available for sale, with 1,593 of those actually agreeing sales. So that's represented as about 65% of the amount of houses that come on the market actually selling. So one in three hasn't had a sale agreed on, which sounds a lot, but actually it's very normal for the property market across the world actually. Um, according to the Land Registry House Price Index, which was up to date as of October 2019 at the time of recording this, um, we've actually seen a very slight downward change on house price values um, from the start of the year until the most recent update, um, where house prices changed from £236,000 um, in rugby down to around £230,000. So that's about a 2% drop. But the worst affected were, were flats and apartments, which were actually down by just over 4%. But there's nothing to worry about really, because house prices do fluctuate month on month, year on year, and 2% here and 2% there actually isn't the end of the world. Um, predictions from Rightmove House Price Index suggests that after the general election was completed, um, there's been a little bit more security and stability in, in the market across the UK, and they're suggesting that they think 2020 is going to have a 2% to 3% increase in property values, which will then very much stabilise where we were from the start of 2019. Um, really excited to see what's going to happen this year um, in the property market, and hopefully we'll have some really exciting things to, to tell you about over the next 12 months. Um, again, thank you very much to Papillon for letting us film here today, and I look forward to keeping up to date with you guys soon.